In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the Romani shawl. This is a really beautiful, easy, beginner friendly pattern. If you are familiar with UK treble crochets and double crochets, which are US double crochets and single crochets, then you'll be absolutely fine with this pattern. I have used Hobie Metallico and these colors are quite light. So I'm going to be using a different color for this tutorial. You can substitute that yarn for an, any Aran weight yarn. I'm also going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook. And as always, you'll need a pair of scissors and a darning needle for sewing in your ends. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to begin by making a slip knot and you can do this in which, whichever method you prefer. Go ahead and insert your crochet hook and we're going to start off by chaining four. So that's one, two, three, and four and we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first chain so we'll insert our hook into that very first chain yarn over pull through both loops on the hook and there we have created a circle so for row one we're going to begin by chaining four one two three and four now this chain four is going to count as a treble crochet plus a chain one. So I'm talking in UK terms. In the US, this is known as a double crochet. So that will be a treble crochet plus a chain one and that is throughout the whole of the work. We're now going to work three treble crochets into that center circle. So remember that's a US double crochet. That's yarn over. Find that center circle and go into that circle. Yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, you'll have two loops on the hook. And yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. So we have our first treble, we'll go again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And then again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So we have three treble crochets. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And this is going to be the point of the shawl. And then we're going to work three more treble crochets into that same center circle. One, two and three we're going to chain one and then work a treble crochet again into that same space and this completes our first row so just so that you can get to grips with what we've done here this is the very center of the shawl just here this will form the top of the shawl and this will form the peak of the shawl. So we'll be working down one edge and then back up and this will keep growing to get bigger. So now let's move on to row two. We're going to turn our work and chain four, one, two, three and four. Again, that counts as a treble and a chain one. We're going to work three trebles into this first chain space. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So there's one treble, we'll do two, and three. So we have three trebles. Again, this is the center of the shawl and this is the flat edge or the top of the shawl. So working down towards the point. We're going to chain one and then that brings us to the point of the shawl and we're going to work our, um, our corner or the point just here. And that will be three treble crochets, one, two and three, chain three 
and three treble crochets. One, two, and three. Now working back up to the top edge, we're going to chain one, find that next chain space and work three treble crochets. One, two, and three. We're going to chain one and treble crochet into that last chain, that same chain. So we did a chain one and treble here, whereas before the beginning of the row, we did a chain four, which counts as the same thing. We'll turn our work. And then for row three, we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. We're going to do three trebles into this chain space. One, two, and three. And then chain one. And that is a pattern repeat. So three trebles into the chain space and chain one. So we've just done that. And we'll do that until we work up until our corner space. So we've only got one other space in this row. So we'll do two, uh, three trebles. And a chain one. And now we're up to this corner space. Well, the chain three space. So in this space, we'll do three trebles. One, two, and three, chain three, one, two, three, and then three trebles, one, two, and three. We'll chain one, and then we're going to repeat the pattern repeat again, which is three trebles into the next chain space, one, two, and three, followed by a chain one. And then again, three trebles into the next chain space. One, two, three, followed by a chain one. And then we're going to do a one treble into this final space. And there we have finished our row three. So then we're going to turn our work and we're going to repeat row three twice more for row four and five. The difference here is you will get one additional chain space. So whereas here we only went into first chain space, then the second chain space, and then it was the corner space. For this row, we will go into the first chain space the second and the third chain space, and then we'll have the corner space and so on. So rewind the video and follow those instructions for row four and five, and then meet me back once you're ready. So this is what your work should be looking like at the end of row five. We're now going to move on to row six. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. This is going to be slightly different now. We're going to convert to more of a solid stitch. So we're going to treble into the chain space. And then we're going to work one treble into the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And that is our pattern repeat for along the edge, treble in the chain space, and then one treble in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And then you repeat that again. You'll do that all the way to the chain three space. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way along, and then meet me at this chain three space just here. So now in this chain three space, we're going to be doing what we've done before. We're going to do three trebles, one, two, and three, 
chain three, one, two, three, and then work three trebles into that same chain three space. One, two, and three. We're going to treble into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And then we're going to repeat that pattern repeat again, which is treble into the chain space and then treble into the next three stitches. And we'll work that until we get to that final chain space. So the final chain space is just here. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way along, and then meet me back once you're ready. So now that we've worked our way to this last chain space, we're going to work a treble, a chain one and a treble into that final space. And then we can go ahead and turn our work. So now we're on row seven, we can chain four, one, two, three and four. And we're going to treble into this chain space, this first chain space. And then we're going to treble into each stitch all the way across until we get to that chain three space. So a really easy row. So treble in each stitch all the way across until that chain three space. So go ahead, pause the video and then meet me back once you're ready. So now you've worked your way down with your trebles, we're at this chain three space, and we're going to work our three trebles. One, two, and three. Chain three, and three trebles into that same chain three space two and three and then we're going to find that next stitch and treble crochet into there and treble right until we get to that very last chain space just here. So go ahead pause video work your way across to the last chain space and then meet me back once you're ready. Now that we've worked our way to this chain space, we're then going to do a treble crochet, a chain one and a treble crochet into that final chain space. And then we can turn our work. For row eight, we're going to chain four, one, two, three and four. And then we're going to do a treble into this chain space. And then we're also going to do a treble crochet into the next two stitches. One and two. We're going to chain one, skip a stitch, and then we're going to start a pattern repeat. So we're going to do treble crochet, three treble crochets, so skipping this stitch, three treble crochets, one, two, and three, chain one and skip a stitch. And that is the pattern repeat. So three trebles, so skipping that stitch, three trebles, one, two, three, chain one and skip a stitch. And you'll work that all the way to your chain three space. So go ahead, pause the video, work that pattern repeat to the chain two space, and then meet me back once you're ready. So now we've worked our way to this chain three space, you'll have this one stitch remaining because we've chained one and skipped this stitch. We will then work our three treble crochets, one, two, and three, chain three, one, two, three, and three treble crochets, one, two, 
three into that chain three space. We're then going to chain one, skip a stitch, and then repeat that pattern repeat. So it's three trebles, one, two, three, chain one, skip a stitch. You'll, you'll work that across until you have two stitches remaining before your chain space. So you'll have your chain space here and then two stitches prior to that. This will be your missed stitch. So go ahead, repeat that three trebles, chain one, skip a stitch until you have two stitches remaining before your chain space and then meet me back once you're ready. So here we are at the end of this side, we've chained one, we've skipped a stitch, we have these two remaining stitches before the chain space. What we're going to do is we're going to treble crochet into these two stitches, one and two, and then treble crochet chain one and treble crochet into that final chain space. We're then going to turn our work and for row nine and 10, we're going to repeat row three. So it'd be this granny row. And we're going to change color in the last stitch of row 10. So go ahead, pause the video, rewind to row three if you need to, but repeat row three twice more and before you do the last stitch of that row 10, meet me back and I'll show you how to change colors. So at the end of row 10, we have one stitch remaining to do, so there's that treble crochet. So I'm going to work until I only have two loops left on my hook. I'm going to drop the working yarn, pick up this second color, and then loop it over my hook and bring that through. And there we've changed color in that last stitch. I can now fasten off color A and then continue with color B. Now, if you want to, you can tie a little knot in this, these two tail ends. Some people don't like to do it, it's totally up to you just keeps it a little bit more secure. And then we're going to move on to row 11, um, row 11 to 15. Now, from here on, you are actually going to be repeating rows. So I'll just get you started on this row 11. We're going to turn our work. I'm going to lay down this yarn just here so that I can work over some of it. And then I'm going to repeat row six. So we're going to be repeating row six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. For row six, we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four, and then treble in the chain space. So this chain space just here. We'll treble, and I'm just going to work over those tails just a little bit and then treble in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And then repeat that pattern, repeat again. So treble in chain space, and then treble in next three stitches. One, two, and three. I'm going to drop this yarn now so that I can sew it in the other way. And then you would just continue with that pattern, repeat all the way across to the, um, the corner or the peak, work your corner or peak, and then work back the other way. So from here, you're going to be re repeating rows six to 10. Uh, for the indicated times and then changing colors to create the pattern. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can go and get that pattern. You'll be doing those color changes right up to row 45. And then for row 46 and 47, you'll repeat row six and seven again. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish on a row seven repeat and then I'll come back and show you how to do your finishing row. So at the end of row 47, your work will obviously be much bigger than mine, but we can now move on to doing row 48, which will be the final row. So for row 48, we're going to begin by chaining one, and then we're going to work two double crochets in the chain space. So this is a UK term, in the US this is a single crochet. Go into that chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's one and two. And then we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the chain three space. So go ahead, pause the video, work that one double crochet in each stitch, and then meet me back once you're ready. When you get to this chain three space, you're going to work three double crochets, one, two, and three, a chain one, and then three double crochets, one, two, and three, and then one double crochet into each stitch all the way to the final chain space. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way to that last chain space, and then meet me back once you're ready. So once you get to this chain space, you're going to go ahead and work two double crochets into that final chain space. And then you can fasten off. and then you can weave in that end. So obviously yours will be much bigger like this one, but it's just a really beautiful pattern. And you can see the end is like this with this one. So if you like to make super easy wearables and you'd like to make another one, then check out this video right here.